Hello, my name is Kaylin Lister. I'm a tutor here at Bright Kids and I've been with the company since its inception. I'm here today to talk to you about the NAT. The NAT 2 is a nonverbal test of general ability used for testing into gifted and talented programs across the country, including New York City. The test assesses ability without requiring a student to read or write or speak, providing a culturally neutral measure of giftedness. The NAT is difficult. A lot of children, when they initially see the NAT material, don't do very well on it. But don't be discouraged. While some children do understand these types of visual discrimination questions better than others, there are ways in which we can help them understand what's being asked. One of the most important things that we work on here at Bright Kids is explaining things to students in a myriad of different ways. Just because you, as a grown-up, as an adult, see it and understand the problem in a certain way, doesn't mean that's the way that's going to click with your child. I want to give you a couple examples of that within the different sections of the NF. If a child understands that they need to test each little piece, they can take their fingers and imagine that they're placing it there. They need to fill it in the way that it was supposed to be. We're able to skip that step and we're able to say that one. However, a child needs to take themselves through the process that they would take as if they were manipulating a real piece. Now, we construct materials at Bright Kids so that we can practice with Velcro, with real pieces, with 3D materials within our classrooms. But when you're at home, understanding that this language is helpful for your student will really help them do a better job. The second strategy is to focus your preparation on the most common questions for your test level. Keep in mind that the level of the NAT your child will be taking determines whether they see more or less of specific question types. For example, the kindergarten entry test has far more pattern completion questions and fewer spatial visualization questions, while the third grade examination has fewer pattern completion questions but more spatial visualization questions. Now I want to talk for a minute about spatial visualization problems. These essentially are figural analogies. Here what's happening is it's as if a piece is getting folded in. Again, explaining it to your child that way and even cutting out and manipulating pieces will help them see that. Something that I do with children in the classroom is explain it as a rule. The top one has to follow the same rule that the bottom one does. This helps incentivize them. For example, if we're playing a game of Simon Says, we're two different people. But if the rule is, Simon says, raise your right hand, well, you both have to raise your right hand. If the rule is, Simon says, plug your nose with your left hand and talk like this, you both have to do that. So the idea is understanding what rule does the first one follow? If the second one follows the same rule, what is it going to look like? Now, a strategy that I find helpful to help kids understand process of elimination is that the right answer is hiding somewhere here and there are answers that are trying to trick them. This incentivizes them because nobody at any age likes to get tricked. The third strategy is to develop your child's pattern recognition skills. The NAT challenges students to discern the attributes of the pattern or differences between multiple patterns. The quicker and easier your child can do this, the easier it will be for him or her to recognize what question the NAT is asking and thus what type of answer choice he or she should be looking for. The most common pitfall for students taking the NAT is a lack of attention to detail. The most minute details of answer choices can be the difference between the correct answer and the second best but not quite right answer. The students must really take the time to look at each answer choice and then double check all of their answers. The tutors at Bright Kids have been extensively trained to effectively teach the NAT and to help your child acquire the skills that they need and the strategies necessary for success on each of the four questions in the NAT. In addition, in Bright Kids we have material specialists, creation specialists, curriculum specialists, and experienced tutors who work together as a team to create the best and most cutting edge kinds of curriculum that will help your student, your child, understand how better to take this test.